trick or treat, my superstar artists. You're like, wait a second, calm down, Mrs. Mitchie. It is still September, you're right. But if you know me, you know I love fall and I love fall art. And the joy of starting our fall art is that we'll have it all ready to go when it's time to decorate for maybe Halloween. Now, if you're not a big Halloween person, that's okay because we're actually taking nature inspired things um, and creating our art. So this week we're gonna have some fun uh, kind of October-ish uh, art projects and next week we're going to do some as well. Uh, now here is the trick part of this. This is the treat that we get to make this. Here's the trick. I am going to have these three different art projects for my first, my second, and my third grade. Now, the tricky part is the first grade one is the just the simple, easy way of making the spider web. But then you're gonna build on that, my second graders, and then you're going to make warm or cool spider webs. And then my third graders are gonna build on that by making a spider web with a little 3D spider in there. So, what I want for you guys to do, your treat to you, is I want you to press on the icon of the project you want to do. If you need a review of how to make a spider web, check out the first grade icon, press that. If you already know how to do that, great. And you wanna do the color webs, the warm and cool color webs, go straight to second grade. If you want to make a little cute 3D, very simple spider, um, go to third grade. If you want to stick to the basics, stay or go to first grade. Okay, have fun. Make this project as spooky as you want or as realistic as you want. Okay, enjoy. Okay, you chose to do the simple spider web. Okay, so all we are doing is using lines to create this spider web, and then I'm gonna teach you how to make an anatomically correct spider. Okay, so let's start off with our web. You can use either white paper with a black crayon or black oil pastel if you have oil pastels, or a black paper with white, your choice. I am going to do the white paper with black. So let me show you a little trick. You don't have to do this. This is gonna be the hardest part of this whole project, but Mrs. Machete likes a square. So, especially when she's making a spider web. So we're gonna take this rectangle and turn it into a square. Let me show you that trick, it's really easy. You take this corner or that corner, just take a corner and you are going to make a triangle taco. See that? This point over here and the opposite side is very important. It is getting that sharp, perfect triangle corner and these two pieces of paper line up those two lines line up perfectly and then you just smooth it out now guess what you now are going to have a square by just cutting off this new rectangle so watch this I'm going to put a little line pencil line right there and I'm going to cut and then I'm gonna cut off a little rectangle. Don't just throw that piece of paper away. You could turn that into a bookmark. You could turn that into all kinds of fun things. All right, open it up. Oh, there's your beautiful square. What a fun trick. All right, so again, lines creating the spider web. So you go, we're gonna make a middle line first just to really center us off. I'm gonna make a dot at the top, make a dot at the bottom. We're gonna take our dot for a walk, friends. We're gonna start at that. Top dot and go all the way down, all the way across the paper in a straight line. Boom. Okay, we're gonna get as in the middle as we can. We're gonna be making a line this way. Dot here, dot there. And we're gonna go right across. If you feel like you need a ruler or something to make perfect lines, that is excellent if you need to trace lines. Uh, or guess what, if you go out in nature, those lines are not always perfect, so don't worry about it. So we've got a T, and now we're gonna make an X. I'm gonna go from this corner to this corner. And that's where your fold actually already is. So you can just follow that fold line, boom. And then from this corner to that corner, 
and I want you to make sure you're crossing right here in the same spot every single time. Boop, and to the edge. There you go, you've got your T, you've got your X. Now all we're creating is a little link from web to web line, and you can either do it in a spiral form where it gets bigger and bigger, a spiral is something that like starts here like a lollipop and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, but using straight lines. Or, that's what happened here. Started here, went across, line, 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 but it's growing bigger and bigger. And it's like they're connected, but it grows bigger and bigger. Or, on this warm colored one, it's in group sections. So this was one section of webs, then I lifted another section of webs, and so on, building out. Okay, so on this one, I'm actually gonna make groups of them. So I'm just gonna connect these two lines here with another line. Boom, I made a triangle, see that? There we go. And we're just growing and growing and growing that web. And I try to make them connect. Guess what? If they don't connect perfectly, that's okay. No problem. Then I'm gonna go up a little further and start my next line. So you just go straight across, straight across, straight across, straight across. Now, if you're feeling a little fancy, you can make your line a little curved in towards the center. That makes it a little more cobwebby. See how I just have a slight curve? The joy of this is you're learning this new trick and you can kind of just grow and evolve your spider web. Now you'll know how to make this forever and yours can get better and better and fancier and fancier. So you can stick to a straight line or more of a curved line that's curving towards the center. All right, you can keep it going and have it go off the paper. Mrs. Mitchie loves it when you go off the paper. That is just great. Um, or you can leave it just like that. So there's your simple spider web. T, X, and then connecting those lines. Very good. Now, oh look, I'm gonna take my little scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna practice a spider. I tried to get it very anatomically correct because I know I have some very super scientists out there that know all the parts of a spider. And Mrs. Mitchie likes a cute little silly spider. But sometimes it's also nice to make a realistic one. So we have a thorax and abdomen fangs and four legs on each side. From what I could tell, all of the legs are connected to the thorax, not on the abdomen. If you want to mix it up a little bit or just have one circle, that's great. But I'm just trying to make it look as realistic as possible. And the joy of this is spider's just a simple formula. Circle, circle, or oval, oval, plus a little U for the fangs. Four big legs, four small legs, equals spider. Here we go, let's test out my formula. I can look at it right there, I can cheat. Look at it, we're not cheating, we're being resourceful. Circle, circle. Now, there's the little fangs. You can make them scarier if you want to. You can add a bunch of eyes. From what I can tell, there are lots of different eyes, like some have lots of eyes, some have few eyes, so you can do whatever you want. The, the back legs, the big back legs, start right there in between the abdomen and thorax. So there's my first set of big legs. Here's my second set. They kind of come out and bend, come out and bend, or you can keep them straight, that's great. And then we've got two sets of smaller legs, Boom, boom. Now you know how to make a spider, so easy. So let's go back to our spider web. Maybe I want to make a black spider. Maybe I want to make a green spider. Um, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna go green, even though this oil pastel is pretty beat up. I'm still gonna use it. Oh, nope, I've got a purple one. Bam, I'm gonna make a purple spider. Uh, I'm going to go circle. Circle, you can make this spooky, you can make this silly, you can make it cute, it's up to you. I'm gonna do my legs and they just kind of match. You can have it moving so they're not exactly matching. That works too. All right, there's my cute spider. You could go get 
a glitter pen if you have that or some glitter. Make that a glittery spider. You can do whatever you want. Have fun. You can have lots of spiders. You can make lots of different webs and hang it up all over. Okay, there's how you make a simple web. Enjoy!